Namaste, namaste my friends and welcome back to another video here in Darjeeling right at sunset and in today's video guys We're gonna be exploring more of the mall area testing out some foods testing out some bubble tea Which is first on the menu today. So we're gonna go right into here and see what we've got on the menu. Hello. Namaste uh, Let's see here. So this is the bubble tea options over here. So we've got a whole bunch cranberry smoothie choco chill mocha shake Blueberry, mango, strawberry, iced tea. Uh, which one's the most popular? Strawberry, mango, cranberry, blueberry, iced tea. Ooh. Uh, can I do strawberry, mango, please? Okay. Thank you very much. All right, so we're gonna be testing out that one, my friends. We got a bunch of different options there. Hey, and uh, it's called a strawberry mango shake, maybe. So 160 uh, kcals. Pretty healthy, then I'd say. Let's see how it works. So we toss it all in the blender there. Some non-dairy creamer. Okay, so that's how the milkshake works. And then a couple syrups are mixed into that. That's got to be the uh, strawberry syrup. Poured like a shot glass. Oh yeah, strawberry looks delicious. So two shots of strawberry in there. And then we've got the mango mix. Two shots of mango and that does it. Those are my two favorite fruits by the way, strawberry and mango, oh, the best. And then there must be the blender in the back. Oh, I've never seen that before. It looks like they even have hot bubble tea. Whoa, that's kind of a wild look. Thank you so much. Uh, Kati Hall? 160. 160? 100, please. Oh, look at this. That looks incredible. So we've got the, uh, looks like strawberry little bubble tea chewy things. I don't even know what they're called at the bottom. The nice big straw to drink it through. Did you have 10 rupees? Uh, yep. Thank you. Thank you very much. A tip for you both. Thank you. Thank you. All right, my friends, time to uh, test out one of these delicious teas. I'm gonna take a seat right there, pop this thing open. Oh, let's test this out. Mmm, that smells so fruity. Look at that, it literally looks like a milkshake. I guess it is kind of like a milkshake because it has the non-dairy creamer in it. But it's like the hybrid of a milkshake and a bubble tea. Wow. That is just a whirlwind of so many different flavors. You take a drink of that, and it's like we got strawberry in there, we've got mango and it just mixes together in this milky flavor and then like when you get really get thrown off is when those uh, little bubble tea like squishy things go in your mouth you take a bite and then they just like explode with a little bit of strawberry to slightly overpower the milkshake that's incredible i used to be like uncertain about bubble tea because like you have to have this big straw and like you have all these like uh, solid pieces coming up through the straw and then I've had it a few times in the last couple countries I've been in and I'm like I honestly love these now mm. incredible right here on mall road in Darjeeling then it looks like just a few steps further down we've got fresh pani puri oh this looks pretty good namaste brother Oh, you got uh, Pani Puri here? Pani Puri. Oh, yeah, best in Darjeeling? Yes. Oh, perfect, perfect. The Kati Ho? 20 rupees, 5 piece. 20 rupees, okay. Yes, I'll do a uh, 5 piece, please, brother. 20 rupees, 5 piece. Did you get it? Yeah, one set of 5, please. Chili? Oh, uh, yeah, make it nice and spicy, just how we like it. The pine cone Nam Ke Ho? Mero. Mero Bola Prasad. Bola Prasad. Yes. Mero Nam Mako. Oh, look at that. So that's where the stuff happens. Just turn it around. Mm -mm -mm. I like this man. He's got uh, really clean street food. He even uses the gloves there. Namaste. 
Oh, there we go. We're getting the hot peppers mixed in there. Good. That's the way to do it. And look at how big this bag is of pani puris, of the shells. Like, I mean, this is huge. Put that into perspective. It's like uh, half the size of me. And then this is what type of vegetable is this? Clove. Paneer. Oh, uh, paneer. All right. And look at that. Mix that right in there. Wow. Ay, 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 mix is that all ay, in? Ay, ay, ay. Ay. Yeah, this is a popular uh, Pani Puri spot. I mean, there's crowds of people here all day long, I've seen. I would wonder how many there are in here. Drop your guesses. I bet there's like, gotta be over a thousand of those in there. All right, we got that chili powder in there. And it's doing the full batch at once. All right. Oh, I didn't make the cut. Oh, full crowd of people getting them. Right, what is this one? Some, I don't even know what those are. Some sort of yellow vegetable maybe? Some salt in there. And then he uses his hand to basically mix something in there. Uh, that's like the potato that goes inside. Ooh. Mashes it around. To make that fresh batch. Oh, oh we've already got one right there. And it's like a little leaf. Look at that. Hi, spicy. Oh, spicy, all right. Oh, take them right away. All right, all right. I gotta set this down here, brother. Oh. I gotta set this down like right. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna try and take it down here. Mmm. Mm. Very good. Mm. I love this spice on it too. I can just feel the mouth burning. Mm. Mm -hmm. And he keeps them coming. Mm. Look at this. I've had them before where like if you don't eat them fast enough they fall apart. So. Mm. Mm. Very delicious. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and they just keep coming. We got to keep going. Mm. 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 Mm -mm. Wow. Ate those fast. And the last one. Mm. From the local chefs on the street, that's where you get the most authentic. Bani Puri. Wow, I ate that fast. That was incredible. Mm. All done, brother. Mitocha. 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 Yeah, how much, brother? All right, that's for you, tip. Nah. Tip, no brother. Donny Vod, thank you very much. Enjoy. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. That, my friends, was a delicious set of pani puri to uh, get the evening taste buds ready. Got a nice spice, nice little burn in there, and uh, oh, oh, that was great. Now we're going to keep going up, up this way and see what else we come across. I feel like every day that I've walked to the mall, I've found a 
different types of food to uh, try out and eat. Oh yeah, lots of good stuff there. Another set of pani puri, some chow mein. Had some chow mein uh, in another vlog, so we're gonna keep going up this way and see what other unique cuisines we're gonna find. All right, we're gonna have to get ourselves something else to eat over here. Now I haven't tried out vegetable momos ever yet, so maybe I need to try a veg momo. Uh, are those veg momos? Yes. Yeah, okay, I've never had them. Uh, let's do a normal size portion. Is that six or eight? Six, six piece. Uh, six piece, yes please. Oh, these look great. Freshly made uh, momos here, yeah? You want chili? Uh, yes, please. Nice and spicy. Sweet spicy, okay. Perfect. Uh, Kati ho, Didi? 50 rupees. 50 rupees, okay. Mm. Hello. Aya, aya, chicken, garam, garam. 50 rupees, there's 200. Tip for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm excited to try these. All right, we got ourselves a delicious set of vegetable momos right here. So we're gonna find our spot in the park that we did, if you saw in the last video, to test these things out. Oh, oh. Now I've never had veg, so I'm not even entirely sure what types of vegetables are in here. I've only ever had in Nepal the buffalo momos, in, I also had chicken, and then here in India, as you probably saw, I've tried chicken a couple times, but I'm honestly just trying to find what are the best types. We're gonna walk right over to the theater, find a spot to sit down, and that's where we're gonna try out these delish momos. All right, I hope you guys can see me. I got the camera turned up this way, but we've got the veg momos right here we're gonna try out. But of course, the first step is gonna be to soak them in that chili sauce, because I want my mouth burning. Mm. Oh, that is some hot chili sauce. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is very hot. I did not expect it to be that hot. But they're great. Let's break one of these open to see what's all in there. It looks like there's like maybe a lettuce in there. And I don't know. I don't think onions. I think maybe a bunch of chopped up lettuce. And it's so good. Mm. I could eat these for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a midnight snack. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so now that I've had the uh, veg momos, obviously for me, I'm gonna prefer the buffalo ones that I had at this place in Nepal are still number one. These are really good though. Some of the ones I've had in Darjeeling, way better than the ones that I had in Guwahati. But to be fair, I just tried it from a random street stand. I didn't go to a highly rated place in Guwahati. The reality is in this part of the world, you know, whether you're in Nepal, whether you're in Eastern India, Northeast India, um, obviously like they're gonna have their own versions and I'm sure if you find the right ones, they're all gonna be pretty, pretty competitive in terms of flavors. Mm. And they're bite size. oh yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. This is how we have dinner, my friends. And this is our background too, as you can see. Not a bad place to be enjoying a nice delish momo. Mm. That is what we call G triple O D. Good, 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 my friends. Yeah, look at this, we got the uh, dog over here taking a bath. <laughs> look at him, he's having a blast over there. <laughs> oh, is he done? Oh, well, he's probably gonna spray over here, isn't he? There he goes. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little fountain there. Good place to take a bath. Oh uh, yeah. Well, guys, we're gonna keep cruising around here. Probably try out maybe one or two more things, and then maybe head over to the bazaar. All right, we're walking towards the like mall or bazaar, and this is the legendary uh, Darjeeling clock tower. It is absolutely amazing at night. Let's put it this way, it looks cool during the day too, but obviously when you have these like orange and yellow uh, lights right there, that's when you just really see that thing glow. Right up here we've got the Smart Bazaar. So let's head on inside and 
see what we're able to buy today. All right, let's go. All right, my friends, we have entered into the Smart Bazaar, which looks like it's a pretty decent sized mall. One, two, three, four levels of stores. Looks like they've got some uh, little kids rides to go around in the center. And a vibey little elevator where you can see outside of it. Not sure what we're gonna find in here, but maybe some deals on some uh, new items or something. All right, maybe Smart Bazaar is a grocery store? I don't know. Because that looks kind of like a grocery store advertisement. Where we've got Domino's up here, Trends, so various clothing shops. I think a lot of these on this level are closed though, or being like remodeled. And I'm not sure what's all the way up top. Maybe a hotel? Restaurant and banquets. Okay. Not exactly as I expected. This might actually be a partial hotel because there's a bunch of rooms over there. Yeah, well, I guess that's the bazaar. Okay. Ah, down there's Smart Bazaar. So that must be like the grocery store. Let's head on down there. Because I'm always curious to see like what are common products, what the price points are. So that'll be fun to walk through there. This is the Smart Bazaar. All right. I don't even remember the last time I've been inside a uh, Indian grocery store, but it's uh, cool to see. It looks like everyone's getting their produce today, though. I mean, these areas are pretty much empty. And let's see, we're going to need probably to get a couple of these to just have available. And something like this, I don't even know how much it is, though. Where do you read prices? Save. Maybe is it on the item? I don't know. But it's always good to have a couple coffees on hand. Lots of uh, frozen foods, I'd say. Save 20. I'm still so confused about the prices. How do you know the prices? Save. Oh, our price rate down there, 143. So basically to get like a bag of those potato bites, it'll cost you yeah, like uh, almost $2. And lots more uh produce but it's probably fresh produce so that's why it's sold out for the day and then looks like they sell a little bit of everything all types of uh like miscellaneous things and let's see here lots of rices lots of grains um and various other types it looks like beans and i mean you can eat pretty inexpensively when you look at the prices of this and how much food you can make out of that just under two bucks for good life kabuli chana and what do we have down here? More rices, grains. Yeah, it's cool being in a, a grocery store. This is like a, you see so many, so many similarities in grocery stores all around the world. I actually used to work for a grocery company in the corporate side before I was a vlogger. So I know a little bit about grocery stores. And so for me, like I do have like a special interest in them because I just have had part of my professional career uh, working on them. And so when they have them in these like crates, actually, I worked for a grocery store, it's like the no frills approach. You can load and unload the shelves much faster because you just grab the box off there. And when the box is empty, you pull it off and put the new one. Whereas like in some grocery stores, you have to individually put every single item on the shelf. Namaste, brother. And so like, for example, this will take a while because you got to individually set each one of those on there. Whereas on this row, you can just toss them in, put them back up. And these are probably products that sell fast. So that way the grocery store staff can move it quickly and it'll keep the cost lower for the customers ultimately. But similar like style, like checkouts with numbers on them. And then of course like your items that you can grab like that you don't plan to buy at the grocery store, but when you see them right in front of your eyes and you're at the counter, you're like, oh, actually maybe I'll get a little snack. And then of course my favorite aisle, which is the gummy aisle. It's funny, you can find the same gummies all over the world. Everyone loves the uh, the sour stuff mixed in with, you know, all other types of uh, stuff here like licorices, M&Ms, and everything. Namaste. And let's see here. What's the best uh, candy here? Like a something sour maybe? Sour this one and this one. Okay. And how do how do I uh, do this? Uh, which one favorite? Still. Uh, let's try. Which ones did you recommend? Blueberries. Okay, yeah, let's do blueberry, please. This one, bubble flavors? Uh, no bubble, no bubble. Peach ring? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe some peach, yeah, that'll be good. And then I think... And then also some of the blueberry belts, please. 
And I think that's it. Yep. All right, we got it in a nice little box like that too. Five hundred is thirty-six rupees. Perfect. Can I make it six hundred rupees? Yeah, perfect. This one, what's this one? Uh, let's go with strawberry. Strawberry. All right, and there we go. Perfect six hundred. Yeah. And it's fresh candy? Mm, yes. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and I can pay for these here too? Sorry, sir. This one also. All separate? Okay. So, you have no contact number? Oh, uh, I don't have Indian number. Interesting. To buy candy here, we need the contact number and more information on them. <laughs> you would think we're buying like uh, alcohol or something. Yes. All right. So, you pay by cash and card? Uh, card's good, yeah. A uh, card. Thank you. Okay. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. thank you. All right. So interesting that we need to pay for the candy separately. I wonder if that means there's a bit of theft sometimes, or maybe it's just a separate vendor that worked that is leased in order to sell it around here. So we shall see. Put that there. Hundred five rupees. Hundred five. Yeah. Is that okay? Maybe I have smaller? I don't think so though. Do I have a change 5 rupees? Uh, I can pay with a card. Card? Yeah, want me to pay card? Uh, I, I only have this. Uh, international card, no? International, yeah. Oh, it doesn't work? Okay. Uh, Do I have a 5 rupees? No. No, only a 5 yeah. rupees. I spent it on street food. Uh, I can buy something else. Let's see, so now we know we need to bring some sort of uh, extra... Let's see, what else can I buy that I will eat? Could probably get some uh, Mentos. Those can be eaten at some point. Add these to the mix. Does that help? $1.43. Better or no? Okay. Sorry, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Well, that was a nice trip to the uh, store. I was actually quite surprised on how expensive the uh, candy was. For this little box, it was 600 rupees, which is like $7. So, quite a bit. Hopefully, it's good candy. All right. We're going to head out this way. And I want to do a little taste testing of this candy we just got right here. This $7 box. I mean, this is like what I'd expect to find at like uh, an airport. No, actually, just kidding. An airport would be like probably $15. But I guess it is like really fresh, like um, good candy, and it's my favorite type. The little blue stringies. Mm. Okay, one bite, worth it. Mm. Mm. That is so tasty. All these little sours in the box, but the box falls apart easily. All right, and for those of you who probably already went down to comment and let me know, well, I just figured it out because I looked at the box and it says House of Candy, so this is its own uh, special store, and they have kiosks and they have uh, actual full-size stores in um, various places around India. But yeah, quite delicious, my friends. All right, we're gonna walk down this way and see. I don't think I've walked down this any of the time that I've been in. I don't think I've walked down this way any of the time that I've been in Darjeeling so far. So we'll say it's another street of, well, we got a pub up there, Joey's Pub, clothing stores, higher end, some nice little like uh, local snacks there, masala dosa. Namaste. Namaste. And Foodaholic. Oh, that looks like a great spot. Just because the name, that's enough for me to want to go. And yeah, maybe we'll come back and uh, check out one of these places that we walked past. I just want to go down this way and see, make sure I don't uh, miss showing you guys anything because you just never know what you're going to find when you're walking down various alleyways. Oh, we got a lot of stuff coming down this way. Well, this might be, we might have seen the most of it already, my friends, because it seems like down here is a lot more hotels. And All right, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. 
Sumi Queen's Yard Rink Mall Darjeeling. I'm assuming this is another hotel. All right, well, there's the uh, Clifton Royals. That's the name of the hotel. And then Joey's Pub is right up there. So we shall head on in there and see if we can check it out. Namaste. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Thank nice you. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Thank take you. care. Thank you. Are you from? Uh, United States. United States. Yes. I'm from Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Okay, uh, very nice. Are you YouTuber? A YouTuber, yeah. Your name? Uh, World Nomac. World I'm going to Bangladesh soon, brother. Really? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. My visiting card is Hotel Oh, wow. That's me, World Nomac, brother. Oh, no network. Sure. How long are you on vacation here? You uh, YouTube, World Nomad, yep. Nomad. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. And, nice uh, to meet you. Uh, Apuna, Apnar Namki? Abdul Majid. I'm going to take a video for him. Yeah. I'm going to take a video for him. Yeah, yeah. Hello, YouTube channel, you will uh, post it. Yeah, you'll be in it. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah perfect. Now, video for him. Uh, you're, it's playing. It's going. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the whole sorry. time. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, the whole time. Yeah, see? What is the green? One minute, it's been recording. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks. Yeah, it's great to meet you though. Nice Dan, to meet Dan you. Dan Yobad, Dada. When you will come to Dhaka, please uh, uh, call me. Okay, message me on uh, Instagram if you have it. and uh, Instagram? Yeah, because I don't have Indian number here. This? Uh, Instagram, yeah. Sure. And then when I come, uh, we'll meet. Okay, okay. Okay, no Dan Yobad, brother. No, mate. Dan Yobad. Dan Yobad? Oh, Dan Yobad. Bangla. Do you know Bangla? A little bit. I'm, oh. I'm uh, practicing. Practicing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I live in Dhaka. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When I get to Dhaka, I'm hoping I learn a few more words by then. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. All right. Take care. See you. Take Goodbye. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Entrance in here. Hello. All right. Looks like a spot to get a couple of pints over here. Hello. Namaste. Namaste. Can I uh, get some beers here? Oh, perfect. Ah, all right, can I sit by the window? Dani Vadai. All right, so we're here at Joey's and let's see what we've got. All types of uh, adult beverages here. We've got beers, whiskeys, bourbons, wines. Mm -mm -mm. That looks fantastic. I think I'm gonna have to go for a Kingfisher. All right. Hello, brother. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, can I please have a Kingfisher? Pin name or strong? Uh, the normal one, yeah? The normal one. Yeah, okay. Danny Bob. All right, we got ourselves a nice Kingfisher, which is an Indian branded beer. I don't know if I mentioned that in other videos, but I've definitely had one or two in my life. The Panko Nam Namkeho? The Pesetri. The Pesetri. Meruna Me Mako. Nice to meet you. Uh, United States. Okay, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. <laughs> Danny Bob Dai. All right, let's get one of these kingfishers poured right up. Uh-huh, you already know, a nice big one, bigger than my head. Okay, let's get it going. Mm -mm -mm. This is how we finish off our last video in Darjeeling with a proper ice cold, nice cold. Ah. Mm-mm. Mm. All right, that was a nice stop for the beer. Danny Vad Dai, thank you very much. Goodbye. That was a uh, quick pit stop over here. Get ourselves a nice kingfisher in the system. And that is where we're going to end the video, my friends. So a shorter video today. Did a little food tour and checked out a few places. And so one thing I want to mention, guys, if you're looking to find unique places all over India, I actually have a free guide that you can get for absolutely free. All you have to do is go down to the link in the description under this video, sign up for my newsletter, which is also free, and it'll be yours in seconds. So thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video.